Today is our episode two, inshallah, in the series of uh, lectures that we intend to present do, during this period of uh, lockdown. Yesterday we started with an introduction, uh, speaking mostly on uh, the position of uh, Allah's prophets and messengers in the glorious Quran and the lessons we are supposed to learn from their stories and their biographies. Today, inshallah, we begin by taking the prophets and messengers one by one and discussing their stories superficially and uh, trying to bring out or figure out some important lessons, essential lessons that we are supposed to learn from their history. As the Quran draws our attention to that in Surah Ut, verse 120, and the same in Surah to Yusuf, verse 111, In these two verses, the Quran has enunciated to us that in their history, their stories and their biographies, there are lessons for us to learn in order to become so strong and be, make sure that our hearts are very firm when it comes to following the do's and don'ts ordained by our Creator, most importantly during trials, calamities and their afflictions. So today, inshallah, we are going to discuss the anecdotes of uh, Adam alayhi salam, the story of Adam alayhi salam being our father and secondly, the first prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and uh, uh, thirdly, being the first in the series of uh, prophets and uh, messengers. So, because of time constraint, we will not be able to discuss his uh, story on a larger scale. But I will make sure that I give a reference in the glorious Quran where we will be able to visit, study carefully and see what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about Prophet Adam alayhi salam being our father and the first prophet. Firstly about his name, we need to ask ourselves, what is the origin of his name? That is Adam or Adam. There are many divergent views of our, our scholars about the origin of Adam. Some of them argue that the origin is from Hebrew language. In Hebrew language it means something that is turning towards black, that is mixed with a red. Uh, while some scholars argue that the root word of Adam could be related to Arabic language, meaning the root word, mushtaqun min al-ajma. Al-ajma means al-humura al-lati tasiru ila sawad. Meaning al ulma in Arabic, it is a red color that is inclined towards black meaning a red color that is mixed with black. And some say it means al-humura al-lati tasiru ila al-bayar. Some argue that in Arabic if you say al-uduma, it means red color that is inclined to white, meaning if you mix red with white color, it gives you what called al-uduma or al-adama. However, the most popular view, according to the interpretation of uh, the companions of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, like Abdullah ibn Abbas, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, and Ali ibn Abi Talib, may Allah be pleased with all of them. They say, Adam means the mushaqqa min adin al-ard. Adin al-ard means wajub al-ard. Meaning the word Adam has been created from the root word of wajubul and mean the surface of the earth. So some of them argue that this word is a, an extraction from the word of adimul and while some argue that it is mushtaqun, it is an extraction from al adima while some argue it is a proper noun. So if it is a proper noun, we don't need to argue about the origin of the word, but rather go directly and explain the meaning of it. So, according to the interpretation of Ibn Abbas, Ibn Omar, uh, Ibn Mas'ud, and Ali Ibn Abi Talib, may Allah be pleased with all of them, Adam mushtaqun min adin al ard means surface of the earth. And they emphasize on this interpretation by making reference 
to the hadith of our beloved Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam which has been reported by Abu Dawud, Tirmizi and by Haki ibn Hibban ibn Majah. And the Imam Hashimidi has narrated the hadith with number 2955, in which our beloved Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam explains the origin and the creation of Adam, which is in support of Wajibul Earth, that Adam has been created from the surface of the earth, meaning the color of the surface of the earth. So by saying the Prophet says, In Allah Ta'ala, Khalaqa Adam min kabbatin kababaha min jamil al That Allah Ta'ala has created Adam from a handful of the earth, from the handful of sand which comes up from the surface of the earth. And the hadith went further to say, and in this, فَظَهَرَ مِنْهُمُ الْأَسْوَةِ وَالْأَبْيَضِ وَالْأَحْمَرِ Because of this, فَجَاءَ بَنُوا آدَمِ Then the children of Adam emerge with different colors. Some of them are fair, meaning white, some of them are black, and some of them are red. Meaning that Allah Ta'ala has created Adam from the surface of the earth by the collection, different types of the earth. He created Adam. And it is because of this, you will find out that the children of Adam, you and I and others, we come up in different colors. Some of us, you will see they are black, some are red, some of them are fair or white in color. Why? Because the earth, the part of the earth that is used in creating us is not the same. So if that part of the earth is black, then one will emerge with black color. If it is red, then he will emerge more of red color. And that is why if you look at it critically, any color you see with our skin, you will definitely find that there is a color of this earth that is the sand, or the clay, or the soil that is the same with that color. Why? Because Allah Ta'ala brought together different parts of sand and from that he created our father Adam alayhi salam. So that is why the hadith says, فَجَاءَ بَنُوْ Adam مِنْهُمُ الْأَحْمَقْ وَالْأَبْيَقْ وَالْأَسْوَتْ Then we emerge with different colors. And the hadith says again, مِنْهُمُ الْأَسْحَلْ وَالْحَزَلْ Among them, مِنْهُمُ الْسَحَلْ وَالْحَزَلْ Among them, some of them are very polite and gentle, while some of them are very harsh and hostile. And at the same time, the hadith says again, فَمِنْهُمُ الْطَيِّبُ وَالْخَبِيرُ And you will find how some of them are evil and some of them are good. So it is because of this, if you discover the earth, you will see some part of the earth is very polite and gentle, while some are very hostile. And some parts of the earth you will discover they are good and some are evil. Why? Because it all depends on the origin of our, our creation. So the most popular view and interpretation, Adam alayhi salam, his name has been brought out from the word Adimul Ard, meaning surface of the earth. Furthermore, Adam alayhi salam has been created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as we all know, and is the first creator of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And uh, Allah ta'ala created Adam on Friday, according to the hadith reported by Imam Muslim, may Allah have mercy on him, Hadith number 3789, in which our beloved Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Inna Allah ta'ala khalaqa Adam yawma al-jama'a ba'ad al-asr. Meaning, Allah ta'ala created our father Adam alayhi salam on Friday, on a Friday, ba'ad al-asr, that is after asr prayer, meaning somewhere around 4 p.m., uh, around 4.30 p.m. to 5 p.m. Within that time, it was the time that Allah Ta'ala created Adam on Friday, and the Hadith also explained that Adam alayhi salam was uh, with die on Friday, and he came out of paradise on Friday. So many things that happened to our father Adam, uh, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him actually happened on the Friday. Uh, furthermore, as we all know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explains to us the stories, the biography, and the anecdotes of Adam in so many places in the Quran. For example, 
the word Adam has been mentioned 25 times in the Quran. Allah repeated this word Adam 25 times. In some places, is Adam and the Israel making reference to Prophet Adam. In some places, Banu Adam making reference to the children of Adam, you and I, because we are all part and parcel of the children of Adam. So Allah Ta'ala has mentioned this name 25 places in the Quran. And it is an assignment for all of us to visit the Quran and read it from beginning to end and come out with these 25 names. It is an assignment. Starting from Fatiha, the name has not been mentioned in Fatiha. In Baqarah, the Adam has been mentioned in Baqarah. At least in high places. Let me explain briefly. I will give you some examples. Adam has been mentioned in the five places. For example, in the Surah Al-Baqarah. Inshallah, if you go through, you will discover. Starting with verse 31, Adam has been mentioned in verse 33. Adam has been mentioned in verse 34, Adam has been mentioned in verse 35, Adam has been mentioned and in verse 37. So in almost it's, it's the same place. Starting with وَأَلَّمَ Adam and Asma, verse 31, this is the first place where Allah mentions Adam in the Quran if you begin from Surah Al-Fatiha. And the last one in Baqarah you will find out is number 37. So they are in the same Place is verse 31, 33, 34, 35, and 37. They are in the same place. So, five times in Baqarah, and there are two times in Ali Imran. Allah has mentioned Adam twice in Surah Ali Imran, verse 33 and verse 59. Verse 33, in Allah has said, Adam, Wanu, and verse 59. Allah has also mentioned Adam in the Masala Isa in the Lahi Kamasari Adam. These are the only two places that Adam has been mentioned in Ali Imrana. So five in Bakala, two in Ali Imrana, making it a seven. Then Nisai, Adam has not been mentioned in Nisai. If you come to Ma'ida yet, Adam has been mentioned only once in Ma'ida in verse 27. What you are making Laba Abu Nayi Adam al Haq. So you have five. You have two, you have one, making it eight. So Ali, Ma'ida, then Arab. In Arab, Allah has mentioned Adam more than any other place in the Quran. Adam has been repeated seven times in Surah Al-Arab. Starting from verse 11. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned Adam in that verse. Waya Adam muskun anta wa zawdukal jannah. And uh, there is... Uh, in seven places, and the last one is verse 172 in Surah Al-A'raf. وَإِذْ أَخَذَ رَبُّكَ مِنْ بَنِي آدَمَ So five Baqara, two Ali Imrana, seven in Surah Al-A'raf. So you have seven plus seven, making it what? This is making it a fourteen. That is in A'raf. After A'raf, and far no tawba, okay, then Surah Al-Isra, Adam has been mentioned twice in Surah Al-Isra. So 14 plus 2, you have 18. In one place in Surah Al-Kahab, 19. In one place, uh, okay, Surah Al-Kahab, 19. One in Surah Al-Maryam, Adam has also been mentioned in Surah Al-Maryam. So, firstly, we have five in Baqarah. Two in Ali Imrana, seven. We have seven places in Arab, fourteen. Then we have one place in the Ma'ida, fifteen. Yes. We have two places in Surah Al Isra, seventeen. We have one place in Surah Al Kadi, eighteen. One place in Surah Al Maryam, nineteen. Yes. Then we have five places in Surah Al Taha, nineteen plus five, meaning twenty-four. Then you have one in Surah to, or Surah to Yasin, Adam has been mentioned. That of Yasin should be the last one, verse uh, 60 in Surah to Yasin. Adam ahad ilaykum ya bani Adama. So these are the 25 places where Adam has been mentioned in the Quran. And I encourage students of knowledge to visit all the places in the Quran and see what Allah says about our father, Adam, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. So Adam has been mentioned 25 times 
in the Quran. And uh, furthermore, because of time constraint, we can only take one place. If you want to know more about Harem, you need to read Baqarah starting from verse around 31 up to around verse 45. And uh, at the same time, you can come to Ali uh, Arab from verse 11 up to verse 25. And uh, you can also come to Surah Taha from around verse 30 up to around verse uh, 46. In all these places, Allah explains to us the story of Adam and his wife Hawa in the Quran. We can take only one and explain superficially because of our time constraint. And the most relevant letters are take that of uh, Surah Al-A'raf. Allah Ta'ala says, وَلَكَدِ خَنَفَنَاكُمْ ثُمَّ صَوَّرْنَاكُمْ ثُمَّ قُلْنَا لِلْمَلَائِكَ تِسْجِدُوا لِآدَمْ فَسَجَدُوا إِلَّا إِبْلِيسَ لَمْ يَكُنْ مِنَ السَّاجِدِينَ Allah says, وَلَقَدِ indeed خَلَقْنَاكُمْ We created you. ثُمَّ صَوَّرْنَاكُمْ And we form your own shape. A very beautiful shape. Meaning the shape of a human being. Your shape and my shape. Allah says He created us and He formed our shape to be an excellent one. ثُمَّ صَوَّرْنَاكُمْ ثُمَّ قُلْنَا لِلْمَلَائِكَ تِسْجِدُوا لِآدَمْ Then we said to the angels, prostrate before Adam. Prostrate before Adam. ثُمَّ قُلْنَا لِلْمَلَائِكَ تِسْجِدُوا لِآدَمْ Allah has commanded angels to prostrate before our father Adam, peace be upon him. فَسَجَدُوا they all prostrated. Illa Iblis, except Iblis, that is Satan. Lam yakun min sajidin He was not among those who prostrated. Then Allah says, قَالَ مَا مَنَأَكَ أَلَّا تَسْجُدَ إِذْ أَمَرْتُ When Allah created our father Adam, peace be on him on Friday. So, he created him in paradise. This is the most popular view. Adam was created on, in paradise. And uh, we need to ask ourselves, before the creation of Adam, what was in paradise or on the surface of the earth? Our pious predecessors have divergent views on that, but the most popular one, before the creation of Adam, this earth that we are living on, was inhibited by genes. Genes inhibited the earth before the creation of Adam. So when Allah created Adam on a Friday, He said to the angels, Adam. Prostrate before Adam. They did accept Iblis who resisted. Then He said, Allah asked him, that is what is called fair hearing. Allah created Adam, and Allah created Satan, and He created all the angels, but He gave Iblis what is called fair hearing, and this is part of what is called retributive justice, and this is part of leadership. Whatever is said to you, you need to give fair hearing to somebody that is accused, and that is why the Quran says, ثُمَّ قَالَ مَا مَنْ أَكْأَلَّا تَسْجُدَ What prevented you from prostrating when you were directed to do that? You were commanded to do that. Then Satan replied by saying, Ana I am better than Adam. I am more prestigious than Adam. I am more elevated than Adam. Why? Khalaktani min nari. Oh Allah, you created me from a fire. Wa khalaktahu min teeth, and you created Adam from a clay. This justifies to us that Adam has been created from this earth, and part of it clay. That is why in some places you will see, Allah mentions He created us from water in some places, from soil in some places, from sand. Why? Because if you mix water with sand and soil, it could give you a clay. And it all depends on how you mix it. So it is because of this, Allah says to us He created Adam from clay. So by implication, part of the sand and part of water combine together to create Adam. And that is the justification of uh, then Iblis say, Oh Allah, you created me from a fire, and you created him from a clay, so I'm better than him. Then Satan says, 
Satan was with Adam in paradise. Because at that time, that is why we need to discuss this in the future, whether Satan was part of the angels or not. There are many opinions of Ibn Abbas, Ibn Masud, and many more. May Allah be pleased with them, and may Allah have mercy on them, whether uh, Satan was part of the angels or not. But what is important here, he was with them in paradise. Then Allah said to him, Get down, get down. This is a justification that paradise is in the heaven. It's not on the surface of the earth, but rather paradise is above us. That is why he says, get down, meaning get down from where it's on top. It is not in any way allowed for you to be arrogant and live therein. No one will be arrogant and be in paradise. Fakhruj, get out. Inna kamina sagirin, you will be among those who are going to be disgraced. You are among the disgraced, among the humiliated. Then Iblis supplicated to our Lord by saying, قَالَ أَنْذِرِنِي إِلَى يَوْمِ يَبُعْثُونَ O oh Allah, just give me a respite. Just delay it a bit. I don't want you to delay my humiliation and my destruction. Then Allah Ta'ala responded by saying, قَالَ إِنَّكَ مِنَ الْمُنْذِرِينَ Your supplication has been accepted. You will be given a respite, meaning his own punishment will be delayed. Meaning that he believes pray to Almighty to be with us, and that has been given to him. Then he says, "Kala habima because you made me to go astray. Kala habima because you have made me to go astray, I will sit and be waiting for them to ensure." that I mislead them from your own right path. Meaning that, he please supplicated to Almighty that since he has been humiliated, he has been humiliated, he will sit on our own path and ensure that he mislead us from following the right path. That is why today, if one wants to disobey Allah, he will find it easy. But if you want to obey him, you want to serve your creator, you will feel sometimes like you are exhausted, you will start recalling your challenges, you don't need to do this and that. Why? Because of the prayer of our Satan, which was accepted by our Lord. So because of this, Allah says, إِنَّا كَمِنَ الْمُنْذَرِينَ قَالَ حَدُمَا أَغْوَيْتَنِي لَأَقْوَزَنْ لَيَهُمْ سُلَاتَكَ الْمُسْتَقِينَ ثُمَّ لَآتِي أَنَّهُمْ مِنْ بَيْنِ أَيْدِيهِمْ And he said, I will come to them مِنْ بَيْنِ أَيْدِيهِمْ from in front of them, before them, I will come before them, women him and from behind him, behind them, and from their own right side, him from their own left side, you will not find most of them are grateful to you. That is why today most of us are ungrateful to Almighty, in spite of all his bounties. So at that time, this is the supplication of Satan. Allah said, Ukhuruj, get out from this paradise. Mazuuman, you are disgraced. And Madhura, you are expelled. La amla anna ka minhum ajma'in. La amla anna ja annama minkum ajma'in. That you and whoever follows you, I will feel the hellfire with you. The fire of Jahannam. Allah said, Ukhuruj, get out from this paradise. We are back to the story of Adam. Then Allah said to our father Adam, You and your wife Allah dwell in paradise. And eat from wherever you like. All this paradise is, was free for them to eat from any part of paradise. وَلَا تَقْرَبَ هَذِهِ الشَّجَرَةِ But don't approach that tree. These trees, don't approach it. فَتَقُونَ مِنَ الظَّالِمِينَ If you approach it, you will be among the wrong doers. فَوَصْوَثَ لَكُمَ الشَّيْطَانِ لِيُبُ دِيَ لَكُمَ مَا وُبِيَهَا لَكُمَ مِنْ صَوَاتِهِمَا Then Satan whispered Adam and Hawa, telling them 
that you are denied eating this tree because uh, then Satan came and whispered into their heart trying to make sure that he exposed their private part. You are not denied from eating that tree except Antakuna Malakaini to prevent you from becoming two angels out of Una Nil Khalidi or to remain here forever to, be, to become immortal. That if you eat the tree, you will become immortal. But if you do not eat it, you will die one day. So because of this, Wakasa Mahuma, he swore by Allah. And you are sincere when we shall. You are sincere guy admonishing to you. So telling them that you are sincere. Wakasa Lakuma, Wakasa Mahuma, in need of Mari Minasa. Fadem Lakuma be Hurur. Then he misled them with his own deception. Falam Maza Kashadira. When both of them ate the tree. Badat Lakuma Sau Akuma. Then their private parts appeared. The cloth they used to cover their body disappeared and their private part appeared. Then they were struggling, both of them, to get the leaves of paradise, leaves from the trees of paradise, to cover their private part. Then they are not called them out. Did I not stop you from eating that tree? And I said to you, in the shaitan, the satan, lakuma to both of you, adubu mubin, is your biggest enemy? Kala rabbana zalamna anfusana. Both of them supplicated to Almighty by saying, Rabbana, O our Lord, zalamna, we have wronged ourselves. Wa illam takhatir lana, if you do not forgive us, wa tarhamna, and be merciful to us. Lanapunana min al khafirin will definitely be among the losers. Then finally, Allah Ta'ala accepted their prayers, answered their prayers. Then Allah says, Qalah hit minha, ba'abukum li ba'adin adu. Your supplication was accepted, but get down from the paradise. Then Hawa and Adam came out of paradise. This is the first major lesson we need to learn. The highest trial and calamity is someone that was in paradise to come out of it. This is the highest level of calamity. And the second one after a comment for Al says, Part of you is going to be an enemy to the other part. We are all from Adam. That is why today you will see enmity between the children of Adam. Some enmity because of tribe, some because of religion, some because of ethnicity, some because of even state of origin, some because of zone, some because even of continent where we live. This enmity, but our origin is the same. Adam is the origin of humanity. We are all from him. But today we fail to realize that brotherhood that we all inherited from our father Adam. Why? Because Allah said, Part of you is going to be an enemy to the other part. So we are enemy to one another. And this is exactly what happened. The first enmity that emerged from the children of Adam is between his two children as the sort of Ma'ida. The only place where Adam was mentioned, verse 27, when Allah says, What you are reading, Naba Abu Nay Adam will have to get Karaba for Vadan, Fatukut Bilan in Ahadima, while I need a couple of years after, Kana the Akutulan Naka, Kana in the Ma'ida Kabbalu Nabu, Minan Mutadi. These two children of Adam, one of them killed the other. Why? Because of envy. This is the translation of Ba'adukum li ba'adil adu. Wa'adukum li ba'adil musta'arbun. You will be on the surface of the earth. You will be on the earth for a time. Wa'adukum And you will get some form of enjoyment in life in to a specific time. That is why sometimes we live, you enjoy certain times you are in trouble. Sometimes you are happy, sometimes you are sad. Sometimes happiness, sometimes sadness. Sometimes you are rich, sometimes you are poor. Sometimes you are smiling, sometimes you are crying. Sometimes you are healthy, sometimes you are sick. Why? Because of a town in that enjoyment is just a temporary one from time to time. From that earth, 
we created you. We created you there in Wafihata Mutuna. And there you will die. And from that we will bring you out. So that is why Allah draws our attention in the remaining verses. Ya Bani Adama, khudu zina takum inda masjid. Ya Bani Adama, na yafti nanna kum shaytan. Kama akhraja abawaykum min al-jannati yanzihu anhuma libaatha huma li yuriyahuma sawaati iba. So this is in summary the story of our father Adam alayhi salam. He was in paradise and he came out of it. Why? And what is most important finally to say, Adam was a prophet, not a messenger, because there is a huge difference between prophets and messengers. And this is because of a hadith reported by Abu Dawda, which has been authenticated and at the same time discussed extensively by Ibn Uthaymin. May Allah have mercy on him in Majmu al verse uh, chapter 1, verse 300, uh, page 317. Chapter 1, uh, volume 1, page 317. Yeah. In that book, the Prophet was asked about Adam. Al Adam Nabi, the Prophet was asked, Was Adam a Prophet? He said, Adam Nabi, Naam Nabi Yun Mukallam. He was a Prophet that Allah spoke to him directly. So with this, Adam was a Prophet, not a messenger, meaning Adam is, was a Nabi, not a Rasul. We hope that we will explain the difference between Rasul and Nabi in the future. So the, today's discussion is about Adam. And Adam is Allah's prophet, not his messenger. And uh, this is in summary the story of our father, Adam alayhi salam. In some books of uh, history you will discover that it was said that Adam was in the... When Allah sent him to come to the face of the uh, surface of the earth, some narration said he came, he was sent down in India, while his wife in Jidda. That narration is not authentic. If you go through the book of Silsila Rahifa, the hadith has been explained clearly by Sheikh Muhammad Nasir, hadith number 403, that it is a fabricated hadith in some places, it is a weak one. So that tradition is not an authentic one. What Quran says, Adam was brought out of paradise to the earth, and he lived here, and he finally died on Friday, according to the hadith of Prophet Muhammad The greatest trial of Adam was leaving paradise and coming to this world and that is why we are all here. And the second trial is children, you and I and others from Africa, Asia, South America, North America and uh, even Europe. We are all children of Adam but yet sometimes you will see this enmity, this fight and this misunderstanding but our origin is the same. And that started from the two children of Adam what you are like, never abandon Adam and Ishaq. What we need to do, we always try to respect our brotherhood and know that we are brothers at least in humanity. In humanity meaning we are brothers, our origin is from the same place, Adam and Islam. Wherever you see somebody, you share the same origin with him. He's from our father, Adam and Islam. Subhanakallah, Allahumma bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illa anta. Wassalamu alaikum.